Hey everybody, how's it going? A couple of days ago I actually saw a video that was posted by a YouTube channel that I do watch called Rhetorically Yours in which she sent a video to her 14 year old self basically explaining what has happened and what she is right now and I actually thought that, that was awesome and a lot of fun so I think I'm gonna do that for myself as well so I am about to send a video to my 14 year old self so here we go hello 14 year old self at this point in time it is the summer of 1996 and you're about to turn 15 and begin your sophomore year of high school so I think I'd like to give you a little bit of a taste as to what you may actually be expecting in the next couple of years first of all just know if you've had so much fun in your freshman year you are going to enjoy the rest of high school you're going to have a lot of good times and a lot of good friends but something you may need to understand is you probably heard a friend of yours John say to you remember who your true friends are and ironically you are not going to be speaking to a single person from your high school class after you leave and go to college except for one and he is now officially a part of your circle and you're having the time of your life with him and the rest of your friends and the good news is your best friend in the whole wide world is still your best friend today you may not see each other at this point in time because you're still single and he's married with children believe it or not but he's always thinking about you and he's always making sure that you're doing all right Speaking of the summer of 1996, you probably just saw the Olympics and you saw history made as the Magnificent Seven just won the gold medal in the all-around gymnastics competition. Well, we just had the Olympics in 2012 in London, England, and the Fab Five just won the gold medal in gymnastics as well. And it was pretty awesome. You're going to be really excited in a couple of months when Star Wars is going to be coming to the big screen and you're going to see it for the first time. But also note there's going to be three new Star Wars movies coming out in the next nine years. I would like to give you a little bit of spoilers, but I'm just going to let you go in and make the judgments for yourself. You're going to actually have cable television, finally. But just so you know, it's not all that it is cracked up to be. Let's speak about sports. You may not be the biggest football fan, but just so you know, you're going to be a huge football fan, and you're going to love watching your teams and following your teams. And just so you know, even though you are a Mets fan, follow the Yankees right now because they may not look so great, but you're going to be a little surprised come October. And you're actually going to root for them for once in your life. A basketball... It's not the same as it used to be, man. Michael Jordan is still the greatest. I'm going to have to tell you that. These names that you're going to be hearing in a couple of years... Actually, you know who Kobe Bryant is. But you're going to hear some of these names like LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Kevin Durant. They're going to be fun to watch, but it's just not going to be the same. But do watch out for a guy named Blake Griffin. Trust me on this one. I know that mom is trying to get you to read some books right now. And I know that you're not really finding your niche, but... Look for a book about a boy named Harry Potter. Again, trust me, it will change your life. And you will be reading a lot of books at this point in time. MTV is not playing music videos anymore. Seinfeld is no longer on the air. It's actually going into its seventh season right now where you are. It's going to be gone in two years. And there's this thing called reality television that is actually going to make you stop watching television. I'm sorry. But there's another little thing you need to know about. You're probably collecting your VHS cassettes now. DVDs are going to be affordable, as you can see behind me. This is your collection, and you've built quite a good one. And just so you know about that, there's going to be television shows by the season coming out on DVD. So don't worry about rushing home to watch episodes of The Simpsons or Seinfeld or Batman the Animated Series because you're going to be able to get those all on DVD and watch them whenever you want. Speaking of Batman, you're probably enjoying the first season of Superman. Keep watching those shows because they're only going to be coming out with newer and better shows as time goes along. Look for more from the company that made Toy Story. You probably saw the first one about a year ago, and you enjoyed it very much. There's more on the way, and there's going to be more from this new company called DreamWorks. You know how you and your friend Michael are talking about X-Men right now? It's finally going to become a movie in about five years, and all these other comic book characters that you love are going to have movies right now, and some of them are still not going to be great, but most of them are going to be awesome. I know that you're not really the biggest fan of driving right now, but trust me, once you get your license, it's going to be the only thing you're ever going to want to do. You're going to be a much bigger appreciator of music. 
I know that you have some good likings towards bands like the Beatles, and now you're listening to Green Day. Green Day is now one of the most popular bands in the world right now, and they have over 10 albums. It's insane. And keep a watch out, because I know that you're going to be looking into two new bands called Matchbox 20 and Third Eye Blind. They're still going to be around right now, and they're still going to be two of your favorite bands. And when you start hearing this song by a group called the Backstreet Boys, just stay clear from it, because you're not going to like where it's going. And ever since you hear that song, you're going to find a whole new world of music. And when you find out about this band called Dream Theater, just go with it. You're probably seeing cell phones right now. You're going to have one. Believe it or not, it's going to be the only thing that you use as far as telephones, and you're going to learn this new thing called text messaging. And the phone is now going to look like this, and it's going to be like a little computer. It's, it's strange. Speaking of computers... Look for this thing called Facebook when it comes out and join it right away. You'll definitely be glad that you did. And I know that you and Dad aren't really seeing eye to eye on many things, but definitely tell him to invest in Apple stock. I know it's not popular right now, and I know that IBM is all the rage, but trust me, he will probably not believe you and make you buy the stock instead. You'll be very, very thankful for that. I just want you to know that your hardest challenge is going to be dating. And just so you know, you're going to meet this girl in college. And I know that you're thinking that she's going to be getting into your time and into your space. Do exactly the opposite of what you're feeling right now, because this girl is a really good person. Also, at this point in time, you're, you have a great rapport with your brother and sister. But just don't be upset when they grow up and start living their own lives. Just so you know, you'll still be very proud when you understand it, and they still do care about you even though you just don't see them anymore. Also, I can't stress this enough, and I know that mom is constantly telling you this, if she tells you why don't you go to the city and see the Twin Towers, go. Don't ask questions, don't have any doubts. Call a couple of friends, or go with your brother and your cousin. Just go to the Twin Towers. I'm not going to tell you why, but trust me, you will be very, very glad that you did. So that's it. I hope that you'll learn something from this. Oh yeah, by the way, the Boston Red Sox won two World Series.